Hi guys, Rita here and welcome back to my crafting space. Um, I just want to say as a disclaimer that this video is not intended for kids. All right, 18 and above only, please. All right, so got that out of the way. Okay, so I'm here today to share um, a little project I worked on using um, the LOL bags that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. It was a while ago and they were on clearance for a dollar because it was only four. It's a, they come in a set of 12, but for some reason, excuse me, y'all. It's a rainy day, dreary day, and mm, I don't know. I'm just yarning up a storm. Anyway, yeah, um, the bags were on clearance for a dollar because it was only um, four of them. I think they come in a set of 12. Yeah, they do come in a set of 12, but somehow the other um, eight got, I don't know what happened to them. But anyway, they just sold them for a dollar for the four. So, um, but I did go on um, Hobby Lobby website today and I ordered the complete set um, of 12. And I'm so glad because they were um, half off. So I ordered those today. So I should get them sometime. All right, so these are the bags I'm referring to, the gift bags. And this one says Glamorous, which is really, really cute. This is her. And I just cut the back of it out. I'm gonna show you what I used the back for, which you probably see over there on the side there and this is the other one and I cut her up so with those two images this is what I made really really cute I just used my Prisma color pencils to color her up and I put some sequins in her bow yeah so I just put her on this chipboard because I'm not sure how I'm going to use her I'm not sure if I'm going to leave her on this chipboard or just cut her, fussy cut her out and place her on another um, surface. Excuse me, y'all. So, until I find out what I want to do with her, I just, I'm just going to leave her on this chipboard. So, yeah, I think she came out really cute. Really, really cute. So, that's her. And the next one is her. I love her glasses. I stickled her glasses. <laughs> so yeah, I put her two on chipboard. Um, I cut out, I fussy cut it the word glamorous out because as you can see, it was on it was on the top of the bag here. And I didn't want to lose that because it's just so pretty. That that gold is just real pretty. So I cut it out. I didn't want to glue it because I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave her on this chipboard or. Um, put her on to another surface so until I figure that out I just left the word glamorous here um, not um, glued down or anything I may just glue it down I don't know yet so yeah you guys that is my little share that I um, did today and I can't wait to get the other ones in to um, cut those out and um, color them up what I want to do is, um, I have a printer, but my printer, it's just, it's a scan and, um, copy machine, copy printer. Um, but I want a printer so that that way I can actually put these on my printer and print them out in black and white, right? And just, you know, color those images in. I think that'd be just great. And another idea I had is with, um, like, I have the LOL girls, the smaller ones, the um, stamp ones. What I'm going to do is when I get me a printer, I want to try to get that tomorrow. I'm not going to go out today. Get me a little cheap printer um, where I can scan, um, um, scan this in the printer. Am I saying it? I pro I'm probably not saying it right, you guys. But anyway, what I want to do is I want to put this on the printer and um, enlarge it to 200% to make it bigger. So that way it'll be about this size of these girls here. So that's what I plan on doing with um, all of my LOL girls and my wrong, wrong girls. So yeah, um, and I'll show you how that um, will work for me. I'm hoping that it works. I watched a couple of videos and saw that you could actually put an image on your printer and, and, and um, enlarge the size to 200 and it prints out pretty good. Um, I did see that um, if you do enlarge it, that first, um, print that come off if it's not dark enough is just to go in and darken it up with the um a sharpie to make it darker and then just go in and reprint it but um i'm gonna try that out and see how that works out for me um yeah so that's oh and i did get my um 
my Cricut um, mini press. So let me just get that real quick. Uh, so yeah, you guys, it came in. Um, uh, excuse me. Oh, wait. All right, that's my chair, you guys. So um, I did get. Just get this out of the way. Um, I did get my Cricut mm, Easy Press mini in, and um. I got this. I'm going to try because I am. I don't know why. I just I. It seems like the Cricut Joy is a perfect tool for me because it's easy and simple. I have had the Cricut Expression too. I have had the Cameo. The Cami. The uh, excuse me. The um Silhouette Cameo and those things. I've learned a little bit, but it's just so much to it with the welding and the flipping and the sizing. I don't know. Um, I just needed something easy. I don't want to been my craft from spending six seven hours trying to figure out how to do certain things i just want to just i want it to be easy quick and simple so um that's why i decided to buy the cricket um joy so and i still have that over that i have i still have that over there in the box and haven't taken it out to um do a review or anything on it yet but i'm going to do that but anyway that's why i brought this because i want to use um, um what's that called heat transfer vinyl we just you know iron on vinyl basically and just um iron on it whatever i want to you know iron on whatever i want to iron and i want this small one because i want to use it with my wood um pieces over there so that's why i got this little small one because it's small and you know like i said i just want to do really small small projects with it so i got this so yeah you guys um that is about it. I will come back maybe on uh, tomorrow if I get that on um, printing tomorrow. I will come back and show you um, how I enlarge the um, images. Well, I'm hoping I can do it. Um, it seems simple enough, even for me. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, we're gonna try that out. All right, you guys. Oh, and this right here, don't worry. This is um. I have carpal tunnel real, real bad in both hands, but my right hand is really bad. So I put this on when I craft because it relieves the pain somehow. I don't know how it works, but it does. So yeah, you guys, that is my little share for today. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and have a good day. Bye-bye.